Today, we are going racing at Grand Raceway in Michigan. It is a sketchy track that is loads of fun. It straight up has a jump if you can carry enough speed. And this is going to be one of the last videos on the Elantra N before Will sells his car. As a final send off, we both co-drove his car. He lent me the keys for basically a full day to rip around. He did the same and it was just a great send off. And we wanted to give a comprehensive review of the track thoughts. So during this video, we're going to be driving his car on track and I will include our final thoughts. All right, so we are doing a driving review on track here at Groton Raceway. This track is freaking ridiculous. I don't know hey, what kind of person, what kind of madman designed this. It's also like broken and like no one cares about it. So it's just been like beaten to death. Yeah. And like not made any better. I was saying like in my video, there's just so many textures on track. <laughs> They're gonna see. It's a fucking mess, man. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely been interesting driving your car. I uh it's really easy to drive, but I'm still ap I'm apprehensive to go like super crazy. No, that's fair. I mean honestly, I feel bad going on like Jeff's like SS1 LE and stuff like that. If it's a work car, I find you know, that's fucking fine or a review car. Yeah. But like when it's someone else's car, like their own, right. yeah, it kind of fucking sucks. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is All right. Thank you. Hey, oh yeah. Yeah, fucking rip it. <laughs> so, how has it been on like the 20 plus track days you've done? Yeah, so I think this is like 26 or so that we've done. And I'll just warm it up here. Um, it's just a great, it's a great car. And like, it has some like really big benefits over like the Type R and stuff like that. Uh, some negatives too, for sure. Um, but really, I mean, if you keep it fairly stock and like obviously like we did a lot of prototype parts and stuff, it's just so fucking reliable. You just lap it day after day after day and it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, it does really well. The only issue that we really have yeah. is that it blows the, uh, the intercooler pipe off. Yeah. Or the hose, not the pipe. Other than that, it's pretty good. Exactly. Brakes are good. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what we can do here, but it fucking kind of fucking rips, like. It's hilarious too, like I was saying, it just tire squeals everywhere because of the track surface. It's so <laughs> weird. I hope I can see it be like, it's five different surface types, like. And then the fucking jump. Yeah, this, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a fucking blast though, like. I know, it's so good. And like, yeah, I mean, you got this for MSRP. Yep. It was what, like 34 or something? No, well, no, no, well, 31 was MSRP, but after tax, title, rego, stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, 34-ish? Yep. Yeah. I mean, watch us go up to this Miata at 3 million miles per hour. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just like, I don't know, it's easy to drive, but it's just like a good driving tool too. Yeah. Uh, we'll, let, uh, we'll let Bryce pass us here. This dude is fast as fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, this guy. Oh, that was fucking sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy pops fire all the time. Yeah, this guy rips. See if we can keep up for, for more than like a second. <laughs> he's so he's bad. Already gone. <laughs> Dude, he, no, he runs like fucking like 21 or something stupid. Like yeah. he's fast, fast. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, really, like our first video with this car was driving at stock. Yeah. Fully stock. This car is like really capable. Tight oh, R. Ever eats. This thing doesn't. Yeah. And even now, we barely have anything on it, and they still fucking rip. Yeah. <laughs> it's just wheels, tires, like an alignment, and a tune, and honestly, like, 
huge. Granted, we're here with some big money and big, like, I mean, most people here are like GM development engineers. Yeah. And this is like their life. But like, it, at your normal track day, you can be one of the fastest for sure. Yeah, and a lot of the charm is that people really don't know about this car. So they always are coming up and being like, what the, what is this thing? Yeah, exactly. Like with how like stupid fast it is, like. <laughs> <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the braking is really impressive too. Like the ABS just works so well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all the cars that I've owned are pretty like archaic. So, yeah. you know, this is just such a more composed experience but it's composed yeah. but it isn't i mean there's cars that are like more composed this is still like a fucking rise all over like oh yeah wait oh <laughs> <laughs> wait <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking great track this track though. is so good And yeah, I mean, like, reliably, like, I'm probably going, like, nine temps right now. And we're good. Nothing wrong. Like, temps are fine. Like, we. Yeah, honestly, the cooling's really impressive. Yeah, we're, With, it's doing nothing right now. Yeah. When you compare it to the Type R. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, something to be said. And even on other pads, too, like, the ABS cow works pretty well. There's some cars that it just becomes useless. Like, it still is decent. Like, it's a net positive to have, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stomach drops every time. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You do like one more hot lap. Yeah, okay. So, is this the best car that you've owned? It's the best car I've owned for sure, especially in the performance realm. Like, I don't know, man. Some people get like caught up on front wheel drive, but this thing fucking rotates more than like every rear wheel drive car, like out of the box. So, like, it's just pretty crazy. And it does everything well. People think it's like expensive and shit. Which it's not, obviously. Oh. <laughs> but it seems like that the interior materials are nice enough that it kind of gives you like the, you know, from five feet away, it is like a super nice interior. Yeah, for sure. The infotainment, all the custom stuff, like they did a really good job with that. Yeah, agreed. And like the stupid like Type R one is like slow and stuff like that. like. I think people have to like disable like the, the nav. Yeah, Chris was yeah. telling. Yeah, Topher was telling me like he had to disable. Yeah, fucking nav to like make it speed up. Like what the fuck? <laughs> All right, we'll cool. We'll cool it down. But yeah, the car is good, but I'm about to vomit. Well, I don't <laughs> tell you, man. We no, can... <laughs> no, not not actually. I'm good, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's a really really good car. Yeah. The fact that it's, you know, stock, it just kind of works. Yeah, like that was like nine nines for like, you know, I don't know, five laps maybe? Or nine nines, nine tenths for like five laps maybe. Um, you know, and it's fine. Could have just kept it, could have kept going. Yeah. The rates were fine. You know, the, this isn't, the oil temp's not even moving. Like, 264 is fine. So yeah, it kind of just like does its thing. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's fun for both like beginners, but you can just learn so much from it too, because it does rotate so much. Like it really, truly, um, and, and, and like, uh, the Savage Geese, you know, Brick, Brick Casey said like, this is the most, you know, motorsports feeling car of their like, you know, compact, like shootout. Yeah, what was the Type R, WRX, GTI? No, 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 uh, that well, one? the one on track was, um, yeah, Type R, uh, Corolla GR, Elantra N, um, 
Oh god, I'm trying to think what else. I think it was like a Golf R. S -W -R the SC, uh, SCIS two hundred nine, but it blew yeah. up. Yeah, it um, instantly blew up. Yeah, yeah, that'll happen. Um, yeah, which is hilarious. That's just how it works. Um, oh. And it, he said it felt the most motorsports oriented for a front wheel drive car because you really do want him to rotate naturally. Yeah. Uh, without having to, you know, like run like Honda, like staggered and stuff like that. So, right. all right, let's bring her, uh, bring her about. Yep. So we recorded a segment on our final thoughts with the Elantra N. I also messed up the audio a little bit. I had the microphone on the wrong setting, so you can't really hear me during any of it. Uh, so that's kind of a shame. We ended up rambling for a very, very long time, and I thought about editing it all down for this video. I honestly think it might be best if I just upload an unlisted video link, and if you guys are interested, you can check it out. But I will include one important bit right at the end of the video. Yeah, and again, thank you like for everyone that watched for the Ultra End videos. Yeah. I mean, I can personally say the channel experienced a massive boom oh, when huge. we started releasing Ultra End content. So I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Will appreciates it. Yeah. It's a, it's a good. It's a good community. There's there's a few you know. Uh, loud minority people that are always there you know they're going to be mad about something who cares but for the most part everybody's been been awesome so yeah, yeah it's really been good, good for sure mm -hmm. so. all right sweet yeah off to the next thing off to the next yeah. thing <laughs> <laughs>